I call it the orb of gall, because I grew it in my own gallbladder for nine years. The growing was painful. Sometimes the most painful processes have an immense payback. And my patience has paid off. Until my escape, I didn't realize the orb's perfection. Ha! So you were in a mental hospital. I knew it. Hospital? No. Prison. I killed my wife, among many others. She was the seed of this orb. Her eyes were just this color before they evaporated from her skull. That's, that's made out of your wife? And not her alone. It takes many sacrifices and human pain to charge it up and make it grow. No! Oh, look at you, afraid of being sacrificed. <laughs> if you insist, I suppose I could always use more bioenergy. So you're saying an ancient evil spirit tucked inside a crystal ball has returned from the sky? Can't say I'm surprised. Raul's always sending us into some god-awful situation. And I kind of got this ominous feeling on the way here. Well, what else do you know about this thing? His people were my distant relatives. According to my uncle Vic, an all but forgotten tribe of nomadic sorcerers, I was taken to their sacred sites all over the globe when I was a kid. Some of their sites and rituals are mentioned in here. Cursed orbs through the ages. Look under Scarab Warlocks. They believed that certain souls should be harvested to create or enhance magical items such as orbs. Ah, here we go. Scarab Warlocks. Lord of Zumat, Alizarian, perfected the technique of soul energy storage in orbs. His all-consuming goal was to use three perfect orbs to open the Portal of Plenty, a doorway to a plane of psychosensitive matter from which the conjurer could pull anything he first pictured in his mind's eye? Oh god, shape-shifting matter, energy. I hope this doesn't turn into the end of that Hulk movie where Nick Nolte starts melting into the mountain and there's like flying energy all over the goddamn place. <laughs> Anyways, it says here that if a person touches a possessed orb, the spirit inside may be able to transfer its consciousness into them. I should go get a hazmat bag from the van, actually. Good. I know it's early, but I wouldn't mind one of those beers you promised. I still have Alizarian's buzz in my head. Well, Groves is going to die when I get my hands on him, so you can have his beer. Bring me back one of those beers, would you? I wouldn't mind a buzz myself. I mean, everybody's talking so loud. Comfortable? Hmm. I can't feel anything yet. Hmm. Ah, there we go. And now the final touch. My war helmet. And I'm just going to need a little bit of your life force as well. What's in it for me? Ah, now I feel comfortable. Let's see. I sense the presence of other orb power in this vicinity. Just what I need to form the Portal of Plenty. The Orb Maker of Prophecy must have sensed my return. Rosalita's still sitting there. Good. I'll just let them get a bit more drunk, and then I'll make my move. <laughs> Not much bioenergy in you. This thing didn't change at all. Hey, uh, you think, uh, I'd say you've had enough, right? Can someone really know when it's enough? I've never developed that skill personally. No. <laughs> Ooh, my shoulders are so sore. A massage would be nice. Well, you've definitely had enough here. Hey, give it. Or 
Sora, you're all white. No, I'm not all white. Is that Groves in that weird helmet? I think Alizarian just jumped your friend's bones. Go kick his ass. That's a good idea. I'll crack him open like a walnut. A bell 